My name is Ben Stewart and this is uh, 12 Steps How to Make a Bottle of Quail's Gate Wine. Step one in planting a vineyard is that you have to do soil preparation. This most recent year we acquired a new 210 acre site that required the acquisition of a 6190R and that was the first step to actually tackle this project. Step two is that we have to make certain that we've got it leveled out so it was completely flat and prepared for either seeding or planting. Most important when we plant vines is water and making certain that the plants have nutrition and so that's the third step of many steps to get to a finished bottle of wine. You know, one of the things in farming, and I've been doing this now for well, over 40 years, there's a, a connection between people that are in the supply chain, and one of those has been our John Deere dealer, Prairie Coast. The challenge of this new vineyard, uh, we wanted to look for a piece of equipment that would help do land preparation. We had to spec out a tractor, find the right piece of equipment at the right price, and it was a great experience. Uh, we were using new tractors that I have never operated in my life. The size of them required uh, getting help and just finding a good, competent operator, which they happened to refer to me, and that was, that was just a great win. So the fourth step as we move from a newly planted vineyard is training these vines up onto a trellis system. Step five, as the vines grow up above the trellis system that's predetermined, we have about a meter and a half of canopy height that we allow, and that involves pruning. Uh, we do uh, trimming, uh, we do hedging of the vines, and then uh, some leaf removals. Step six, after that point when the vines have been hedged, we estimate all of the clusters that are on each acre of grapes. We weigh them and we come up by formula of an estimate for crop so that the winemaker knows what the potential crop is coming into the uh, winery. Step seven. After the winemaker has given her approval that the grapes need to be harvested, we're usually in a block either the same day or within 24 hours harvesting the grapes. And you have to imagine that we're harvesting off of literally uh, hundreds of acres and it calls on everything that we have, every piece of equipment to be available, whether it's Gators or, uh, you know, 5400N, which is one of our earlier cab model tractors, to the series now that we're buying, the 5083s, 5093s. Every piece of equipment has to be in top condition, ready to go, and has to be able to function, whether it's 12, 14, 16 hours a day, day or night, uh, seven days a week. That's the way that Harvest works here. Operators as well as the equipment have to be in top shape and that's what Prairie Coast does for us before vintage and exert and everything's ready to go. Overall, I've dealt with uh, Prairie Coast over the years. Uh, uh, we count on them and they count on us. So step eight is how these grapes are processed from the clusters and berries that are uh, hand-picked Step nine in, in the fermentation of the juice is to make certain that that juice is cooled down. We take any of the solids out of it and then we start to ferment the juice. So step 10, those wines will be uh, bottled and then again we'll give them bottle development before they actually hit the store shelves. Step 11, we sell around the world and a bottle of wine on the shelf is going to be the last step before it gets to your uh, dinner table. Step 12, hashtag pair the moment. You know, we really want to celebrate with you, but we want to know how you're celebrating. Whether it's with, uh, you know, you're, you're at home, you're out with friends at a restaurant that you love, share that at hashtag pair the moment so that we get a chance to enjoy our work with you.